In this video we'll do some math and some calculation with resistivity and conductivity. I'm going to show you both and I'm going to use copper wire that I there that I got the jacketing off. Standard 14 gauge. This, this is 14 to house wire. 14 gauge North American wire gauge sizes, okay? So to do this However, the equation or uh, yeah, the, the calculation is universally applicable worldwide and there is no metric, there is no imperial, there is only one kind and this is it. We're going to calculate the amount of resistance in uh, how about 5 meters of this house wire that I just threw down the ground there, okay? 5 meters of this. We can do 500 meters, so I'm going to change it later just when we're done with it. Resistance can be calculated as well as measured, but we're going to calculate, like I said, because resistance is directly proportionate with rho. Rho is the resistivity number, and it's coming out of, you know, these uh, exponent numbers with those negative 8 whatever uh, powers. Resi uh, directly proportionate with resistivity, and also and also length and inversely proportionate to the area of that's not amps that's area area of its cross section so we're going to calculate the cross section of a copper wire and for that reason I have here a handy dandy uh, metric caliper I'll just pick a spot where the wire is straight neither stretched out nor compressed and if I take a reading on this one this is gonna be one point, just wait for the camera, we'll go with 1.6, how about that, 1.6 millimeters for diameter. Let me just do this mini calculation here in black for area. So that diameter is 1.6 millimeters and we need it. So for area I'm going to use R square pi, so I need radius, so that would be 0.8 millimeters and that's nice but I need everything in meters length will be in meters area will be in square meters and that resistivity is ohm meters okay so everything has the same unit it's uniform okay so this 0 0.8 millimeters is in meters 0. how is it tens hundreds thousands, ten thousands, that many meters. Okay, if I square it and pi it, let me just go three zeros and then eight, square it times pi equals that number for the area of the cross-sectional area of this wire. So I've got area equals uh, yeah, yeah, that's a complicated number. One, two, three, Four, five, six, four, five, two, oh, one meters squared. Now that's a cutesy number, or a horrible one, depending on how you look at life. I want to make it into scientific format, so I need to go two, four, six jumps with it, moving that way. So it's going to be rewritten as 2.01 times 10 to the power of, because we're going that way, it's going to be minus six, minus six jumps. All right. Uh, so that's the area in meter squared. That one, that number is the same as that number. I want to use this number because uh, because I can uh, subtract exponents easily. I'll show you. So and we have five meters of this one. So length length is five meters. So length needs to be multiplied with resistivity. Resistivity is I'm going to write it here. For the copper is 1 point, what was it? 1.68. Let me see. Copper, 1.68, 10 minus 8. 1.68, 10 minus 8 ohm meters. That, that's a little lame. Omega, but there, there's the number. Okay, so that's resistivity. So this number needs to be multiplied with that one and divided by that one. That's what this formula says. So I'm going to rewrite them, or write them this way, 5 times, so there's the 5, the length, this times this is the same as this times that, it doesn't matter, yes, 
5 times 1.68 times 10 to the power of negative 8 divided by that number 2.01 times 10 to the power of negative 6 all right I wrote it intentionally in this way so I can multiply these two guys and divide them by the third one there first and then and then I can do those ones in a sec so on a calculator I'm gonna go 5 times 1.68 divided by 2.01 equals that number 4.18 can I just go 4.18 okay 4.18 times 10 to the power of minus 8 minus minus 6 because the division is a subtraction for the exponent uh, figures so I have a hmm, minus 8 minus minus 6 equals and that's uh, that minus minus 6 is a plus 6 so we have a minus 8 plus 6 which is gonna equal to a minus 2 when we are done with it so not many ohms is the resistance of 5 meters of this 14 gauge house wire when you have a 5 meter length of it and you plug an ohmmeter uh, one lead to one end and the other lead to the other end and you measure resistance it's gonna be you're gonna be seeing that number or well actually on your display this is how it's gonna look like because that minus two means you're going two spots this way to the decimal dot so we can also let me see that one is a zero there there same thing if you see this number on your display 0 0.0418 ohms probably you only have two or three digits on an ohm meter anyhow you've got to be seeing that number now and of course if you have 500 I'm just going to change it to 500 meters there then it's going to be 500 there and then it's going to be instead of negative 2 it's just going to be to the power of 0 and it's just going to be 4.18 ohms so if you have half a kilometer of this copper wire at room temperature or at 20 degrees 20 degrees yes not at 40 or 60 or any other or 0 or minus 20 at 20 degrees room temperature you're gonna have 4.18 ohms on half a kilometer of this stuff for resistance now conductivity on the other side here is calculated extremely similarly because the formula for that one is conductivity is marked with the letter G and it goes you have to multiply conductivity figure Sigma with the area of the wire and divided by length okay so there's your there's your uh, and your answers will be Siemens instead of ohms so to do the same calculation we've got the reciprocal of 1.68 times 10 to the power of minus 8 is that number 5.96107 so 5.96 times 10 7 times area which would be 2.01 times what was it 10 minus 6 gets divided by the length 5 okay sorry we ran out of the viewing uh, field there but I wrote the area in its scientific format this way that I took it apart because because it's the same thing if you write it this way or the amounts to be multiplied you can write them in any order but I like this order here so I want to multiply these two fellas and divide by that one guy there and let's see how this one goes 2.01 times 5.96 divided by 5 equals 
2.39 times 10 to the power of let me see that's when we multiply we add 7 plus minus 6 7 plus minus 6 equals positive 1 yes so it's 10 to the power of positive 1 10 to the power of 1 is just is just 10 so with this number is 23.9 Siemens okay and that's the end of the calculation there that's the final answer for the G number for for conductivity and for for uh, yeah with conductivity and for resistance it say uh, it was this ohm number there's also one more equation these two numbers are reciprocals of each other so if I enter this number in its reciprocal form and that is 1 over 23.9 into the calculator let's see what I let's see what I get out of this one 1 over what was it? 23.9 equals we are back to the 0 0.0418 this one 0 0.0418 what a coincidence no it ain't so that's how these work exactly so if you have one result you can calculate the other by doing a reciprocal calculation okay so you don't have to do a lengthy multiplication involving exponents and whatnot because the third relation had these two things how resistance and conductance or resistivity and conductivity relate to each other is uh, is that uh, what is it? Uh, what color? I'm gonna go with this color. Ah, I'm gonna go with this color. That resistivity, that's rho, equals 1 over sigma. Alright, and consequently, sigma equals 1 over rho. Alright, so you can take these numbers and, uh, and, uh, do the reciprocals of them and you can calculate one from the other fairly easily and this is what it takes you have to be really fluent with scientific notation and these uh, exponents you know dividing and multiplying it's not rocket science this is first year electrician apprentice stuff